been successful, successful because we've been at it from the beginning, from many years ago, and we've been able to keep a very um, small group of dedicated people, which are still actually believing like something like pioneer. You know, you go in the middle of nowhere. You know, often we live in in a tent for a few a few days until uh, until you know the, the proper facility can be established. And this happens, it's still happening today. I mean, uh, it happened 20 or 30 years ago, it's still happening today. Occasionally, you get, uh, you know, um, projects which are a little bit closer to uh, civilization. We, last year, we completed the, the link between Transfield, uh, between Queensland and New South Wales. There was, there was a link missing in the national grid, uh, about 150 kilometers going from the border of uh, Queensland to, uh, to Tamworth. That is about 100, 170 kilometers. That, that uh, um, link was missing, and uh, okay, we were lucky there because we had uh, towns. We did, st we still did establish our camps. We established three camps, three construction camps, uh, but we were closer to town. We were 20 or 30 kilometers you know, away from from town, so there was a bit more uh, closeness to civilization. But still happen today. We have a next project starting in Newman, for example. We have a, bu uh, we have a number of people, they are now doing the, the, the activity that I've just mentioned, the cultural, they, they're going with the Aboriginal, with the environment, they're doing it at this very moment. And that is for, a, for BHP mine. And again, again, it goes from Newman, which is a mining town. This time we are a bit close to the observation. We're only, we only 2,000 kilometers from Perth. Tom Price was 2,500. This time it's only 2,000. And again, it goes from 150 kilometers from Newman, my Newman, to a mine that BHP is established in, in uh, 150 kilometers west. It will be exactly almost a, 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 same, a replica of what we've just done for Amersley, which was the previous contract we've just finished uh, a few months ago. And the same people are doing the same job. So, the same, so we, there is continuity the ability is to maintain some continuity so that and, and retain the experience the experienced people so that the project becomes if not a bit easier but at least you you can handle them with a bit more um, experience and every new project that you can add to your list is a bit more experience that you can add to or to your labor force or to your staff or to your engineers and so on and again this will be a we have um, most probably eight months to do it and when people look at it, they think, you know, it's look, this is going to take a few years. You know, it's going to be done in eight months. So it's, it's, it's a very still exciting, and uh, um, as far as we can manage, still still profitable yeah. for Transfield. That's one fascinating, absolutely fascinating. Can we cover, recover a little bit of territory? If we can just talk about <coughs> how you have to be sensitive to the Aboriginal population, the Indigenous Aboriginal population. If we can just tell me about that again, but maybe if we just sort of can say that you have to work closely with the Aboriginal community. Tell me a bit about that. Yes, there is an initial, you know, as, a, as I mentioned, there is the initial cultural, they call it a cultural walk, which travels, walks for 200, 300 kilometers, walks the length of the line to um, satisfy what uh, the Aboriginal cultural requirements are. And these are taken very seriously. Additional to that, that's uh, that's only the first stage. The second stage is that when we start the excavation, especially in certain area, and this was particularly the area between um, of the project we just finished last year between New South Wales and Queensland. That that specific area of New South Wales was uh, it appear uh, because I'm not an expert. It appears that it was. Uh, the, um, Let's just talk generally. Just that generally. We, we then what we do is we have to actually... Okay, yeah. then we, we, once we start the construction, normally you have a representative of, of each tribes. So if the area is uh, 20 tribes, you have 20 representatives. who are actually sitting there while we do our own excavation, and if there is anything that uh, might appear while we disturb the soil, then, then they stop us, examine the area, and decide whether to go ahead or uh, fence off the site until you know archaeologists are given a better a better view of what's happening. This is only done at the foundation stage. So once the found the found stage the foundation are completed. In other words, we you don't disturb the, the soil any longer. 
then the Aboriginal, you know, really are not concerned any longer because I think they 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 being satisfied that any other work that is done would be above ground and we won't, we won't interfere with what the, and this goes on on every on every transmission line that we that we build in the country. So it's a it's a, a requirement which you know you can um, you cannot do without it. You you have to comply with it. Mm. And was this something from the, the early days or something that's developed sort of in more I think this has been this has developed we don't need in the last in the, no this is nearly in the last fifteen years. Yeah. Yeah. 